2014 marks the 30th birthday of Milton Keynes Hospital. Having started life in 1984 as a small district general hospital, we have been growing and developing ever since to meet the demands of one of Britain's fastest growing towns. We know that Milton Keynes as a city is expanding and therefore we know that the number of patients coming through the doors of the emergency department are going to dramatically increase. We know that the resources are also limited as well, so in order to actually provide the best care for these patients, we're going to get, need to get smarter and slicker at the service that we provide, and I think we're up for the challenge here. Everything that we do at this hospital is governed by our core patient promise. That every patient will be safe. That every patient will be understood, informed and involved. That every patient will be valued and cared for as an individual. When I came for my regular eye appointment um, earlier this year, the consultant saw me at the end of the session, before lunch, and he stayed behind in his own time, and it was his afternoon off, to explain to me in great detail um, what was wrong with my eye and what could be done for it. I appreciated his care, really, his concern to let me know exactly what was going on and what he hoped they'd be able to do. Our 3,000 staff are working tirelessly to keep our promise to each of the hundreds of thousands of patients we see. So in physiotherapy we constantly ask for patient feedback in order that we can make improvements and um, recently patients have told us that they find our treatment area very busy, quite noisy um, and we want patients to feel that they can come here and confide in us and discuss their problems in confidence. So we're just in the process now of um, changing our working patterns, changing the working patterns of staff in order to spread appointments out over a longer day and that way we can give um, patients greater choice of appointment times but um, really it enables us to just keep the department a bit calmer and a bit quieter. In the past year we opened a new ambulatory emergency care unit resulting in patients being seen more quickly and relieving pressure on the A&E department. I've been involved in actually creating different pathways which is intended to actually make the journey of the patient through the hospital that little bit smarter. Uh, one of the areas I'm most proud of is the development of the pathway for kidney stones. In the past, patients used to have to come back two weeks later to have an ultrasound scan done. We've now developed a pathway with our colleagues in radiology whereby the suitable patients receive a scan on the very same day and therefore get referred for definitive treatment at an earlier date. We have also invested £2.3 million in creating over 100 new nursing roles as well as offering extensive training opportunities to existing staff in areas such as dementia and stroke. And there are improvements being made by our staff on a daily basis. In terms of improving patient experience, um, I think a good example of what we've done recently have been with the messenger service and delivery of medicines to the wards. Initially we had um, two porters helping out to get medicines to the wards but we had a, a lot of patient feedback in that this was taking a lot of time, patients were waiting for medicines and we thought we could do better. The solution we came up with was to have dedicated messengers who would courier the drugs to the wards and we got three messengers in so that increased our capacity from two members of staff to five so now we can get medicines at all times, not just at fixed delivery times, but at all times the patients, and that has helped the service. Recently in our area, and I think throughout the whole hospital, we've brought in the We Care scheme, and part of this is um, making sure the patients are checked on every two hours, making sure they're comfortable, they have a drink, if they need anything, and just genuinely that they are okay. And this has made a big difference because there isn't someone that's left without a drink, who's thirsty, can't reach their drink. You can ensure that they've got their call bells, they don't need the toilet, that they're comfortable. And it's just improved their care a lot more because they're always being checked on and we always know that they're okay. Well, my role here as a diet chef at Milton Keynes Emory Hospital is to work direct with people that have got allergies, severe intolerances to certain things and this means that sometimes I have to cook that food completely separate to everyone else's. I had a little girl on Ward 5, um, extreme eczema allergy and she literally couldn't eat anything. Um, I had to sit there and work with the mum for about three days to work out the foods that we could give her and what we couldn't. And this is just the beginning. Our commitment is to keep on improving. We have big plans for the expansion of our A&E department and we want to build a new cancer centre so that more of our patients can be treated here rather than travelling to Oxford or Northampton. 
My hopes for the hospital in the future are that it starts expanding as the city is. For example, we need more beds and a big a &E. My hopes for the future are to build on the outstanding care which we currently provide and to improve it further to make sure our mothers, babies and visitors are happy with the care that they've received, they are safe and yeah, just continue providing them with good effective care. Everything we do at Milton Keynes Hospital, from the financial decisions made at board level to the kind of meals we serve in the wards, is focused on one thing and one thing only, our patients. We want our patients to be safe, to be valued and to be involved. We care.